Dude, look at that. Mission Impossible. Pretty artsy Milan. Alright, so we're packing for Milan. We're leaving at 10 o'clock. It's about 6.53 in the morning. Looking at the weather, it's about 50 degrees. The average looks like 45 to 63. I'm gonna bring some long johns just in case. You never know. You gotta pack essential in this case because I'm bringing all my equipment. I'd rather have some good equipment so I can record the best vlogs. Almost ready for Milan. Got my bag packed. I like this bag. It's an Under Armour bag, but it's also a backpack. And then I'm just gonna use my backpack as like what I put under my seat. It's about 7.41. I was planning on leaving at 7.45, so we got four minutes. So, I'm good. Let's go. Off to Milan. Jay. Later, bro. Happy trip, Jay. See you uh, in four days. In four days. Bye, Ate. Goodbye. Bye, Ate. Bye, bye, Inga. Bye, baby. Oh, Mag Inga, Ate? Hindi. Ayaw po mag Inga. <laughs> Later, dude. <laughs> Salamat. Okay. I'll walk down. Milan. So what's really cool about living off of Sepulveda is that there's a Aerobus just like a block down the street. It comes every five minutes. I'm gonna get on the Aerobus and get to the airport. We got about two hours to get there. So I got the return ticket, 10, 20 euros. cousin who I'm going to see, she moved to Italy about six years ago. She actually originally moved there to teach English, just like me, but I went to Spain. Oh, oh. Milan 1010, flight 6332, and that's security control. All right, just got through security. Um, I forgot, I can't record like at security, my bad. Um, anyways, we are going to find a gate and um, to continue the story of my cousin Rachel, she moved to Italy and she was teaching adults how to speak English and now she's living there. I'll tell you what. Now that I got some time, I'm going to grab some coffee. Australia Dom. We're here at the airport waiting for my flight to Milan. Got my coffee and uh, ready to go. We got my friends here. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Royalty, royalty. You're on YouTube. <laughs> so we're going to see my cousin Rachel, who married Paolo, an Italian man, and now she's living in Milan. So I just realized that Sunny hooked me up with a jamon bocadillo. I'm excited about it because I'm hungry. Grubbing time. I uh, found the gate, B51. Still got some time. Taking Buehling to Milan. The line is piling up, so might as well fall in line. Cured ham bocadillo. Thanks, Sonny. Sunny June hooked it up. Walking through the gate, needed my passport. I don't know why. On the flight to Milan. About the land. Damn 
kid right behind me. He's kicking my seat. Anyways, we'll be in Milan in a couple minutes. Finally off the plane. Now let's talk. We've got to find the Malprenza Express to get to Milan and find Rachel at the train station. We are in Milan. Now I gotta find the tranny. Welcome to Milan. Just had to use the boys' room, but now we are off to Milano. Malpensa Express. Let's go. Buenos. Back in Italia. Let's talk about like plane flights and my preferences. For me, I like to sit in the aisle because I go to a restroom a lot. I have a very small bladder, so I need to go to a restroom all the time. But uh, when you're doing these flights and trying to be economic, um, you have to do those random seatings and I always sit in the middle. Um, on this flight, I sat in the middle seat and I was right in front of this little kid, kept kicking and messing with the freaking tray table and it was annoying. And the parents were there. If I were the parents, I would have told them not to do it. Jeez, so annoying. But anyways, we're here. Um, enough negativity, positive stuff. Dude, check this out. This is the inside of an airport. Look at these lasers. That's like some James Bond stuff. Dude, look at that. Mission Impossible. And they got that really cool thing over there. Pretty artsy Milan. There's a ticket counter. 13. Uh, got my tickets. In Italy, you gotta validate. So in Italy, you gotta validate your train ticket and then head over to the platform. If you don't do that, you get a stiff fine. Looks like this may be it. El Prenza Express, platform four. So, we'll find a spot. Check this out. It's like a train office. I can take my laptop out and start editing. This, finding Rachel by the ticket booth. Let's go. Bonjour. Walking out the Malpresa Express. Going to go find Rach. I am at the right place. I didn't get lost, believe it or not. Anyways, that was cool. It was about a 30 minute ride from the Malpresa airport and headed to check out Milano. Buongiorno. Oh, sweet. The track stops right there. So I couldn't have gotten lost. So my ticket, validated. Going through the turnstiles. Gotta find a green one, not a red one. Arrivederci. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, I thought you were gonna arrive later. Yeah. Were you like here for a long ass time already? Oh, like ten minutes. So what's up? You're on Jaycation now. Yeah, hey Jaycation. Let's see Rachel do work since she's doing <laughs> oh, it in right Italian. Oh, right, I didn't know. Uh, let's check. It took me five to ten minutes to figure this out. Forty-eight hours. So we should get this one. It's like a two-day nice. one. Nice. What's up, cuz? Hey. So we're gonna go to my house now and drop off our bags and then we're gonna go and explore. And explore Milan, my first time here. And it's good to see a family member for once. Yeah, it's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like an orphan anymore. <laughs> From Mira Mesa to Milan. Yeah. <laughs> So me and Rachel are talking about um, the Filipinos all over the world, <laughs> and this is her neighborhood. And look, there's a Filipino restaurant right there. I think this is the only one in Milan. I hate rice. Remember that. <laughs> you hate rice. I hate rice. What? We can, what? People try, keep trying to force feed me rice. What? It irritates me. Rice. I've always hated rice. Look at that. Oh, the there's a manicus in Europe. 
That is legit. Yeah. And this is the man of Kisimuru. <laughs> Well, me too, but I don't have that in my apartment. We're in Rachel's yeah, luxurious my apartment. huge mansion. No, for real, it is nice. So this is the kitchen. And then we actually have um, one of the balconies. See, at least you have a balcony. Here. Well, this balcony is like our storage area, basically. So we have like... Oh, nice. Stuff up here. This used to be a lot nicer because these trees uh -huh. um, used to cover like there used to be a wall of trees right here So we couldn't even see those they buildings over there and then they chopped the wall down so now like It's really not ugly. as nice yeah. We are approaching the Duomo I guess I'm supposed to have my camera ready because this is a great sight Here it is Holy crap, that's really nice. I, I thought it was going to be really foggy here. This is the Duomo. This is the Milan Cathedral and it's one of the largest cathedrals in the world. And I actually just found out recently that it's the cathedral with the most statues in the world. What? So statues? Just on the exterior, it has more than 2,000 statues. Wow. When the sun shines on it, it totally looks so much cooler. <laughs> Check that out. Look how many people are in this square. How many people are getting pickpocketed as you speak? This is what I love about Italy. She's on the phone. We're in Galleria Vittorio Emanuele. So it's a shopping arcade and basically it was built to connect two landmarks okay. so we have the duomo that way and then it connects to the scala opera house it's got prada it's got prada it's and got louis and another prada on the other side and versace baller this mosaic has um, it has the coat of arms of the four cities who used to be the capital of italy at some point in history so turin milan rome and florence In other words, you gotta look like a fool yeah, with your exactly. pants on the ground. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground, looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Maybe it's not even true, it's <laughs> something they tell to tourists. With the gold in your mouth, hat turned sideways, pants hit the ground, call yourself a cool cat. Basically stepping on a bull's balls. Looking like a fool, walking down town with your pants on the ground, get it up. All I can think about is pants on the ground, pants on the ground. <laughs> looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Hey, get your pants off the ground. Looking like a fool, walking, talking with your pants on the ground. This is the Rari store. We're going into Spontini. And Rach says it's... Pretty good. <laughs> since 1953. Look at that. Look at the pizza. Us San Diegans know pizza. Don't be fooled, the pizza in San Diego is bomb. Pizza and beer. Look at that. Hello. 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 One prosciutto. Thank you. That is prosciutto, okay? Thank you. You can just like sit outside. There is no space. Rachel delivered my Moretti. My Moretti. Cheers. These are my new H&M pants. David Beckham made them. Me and Rachel are eating our pizzas. Boom. And the sauce is what makes this pizza super good. The sauce and the melty cheese. Y'all already know I'm Steve Urkel with the cheese. Boy, am I hungry. Got any cheese? Birra Moretti. Dad, remember this? Where were we? We were in Prague. This is the World Expo? Yeah. That fountain looks nice over there. That's cool. Was this for the World's Fair? Yeah. This was like kind of an information point. Alright, we're here at the beach in La Barcelona. Right behind you is the W. I'm about at mile four, about nine minute pace. 